Just want to show y'all some of my uh, desert rose that I have been growing. Um, this first one is my largest one, and uh, as you can see, it's blooming very nicely right now. And uh, from afar, a lot of people think that this is just one plant, but uh, of course, it's actually four different plants in one pot. Um, but uh, it's uh, it's a mix of different species. The tallest one right here is a um, a Denium obesum. Um, it's also got a very large cultex, but I don't think you can really see. Um, but uh, a Denium obesum will grow fairly long branches, and uh, and it's the only species that you can really get like uh, different flower colors. Um, this one is. Uh, a Denium arabicum and they are my favorites uh, especially for bonsai um, I like some very stout looking trees so um, the really cool thing about a Denium arabicum is that uh, they grow very large caldex um, but the uh, branches stay very compact and very short um, so it's almost always proportions with the trunk or the or the caldex of the plants and when they bloom they bloom much uh, they bloom flowers that are a lot smaller but uh, uh, in a lot more in abundance just because there's just so many branches because they branch out very easily and naturally you don't hardly even have to really stimulate it or prune it or trim it to get it to uh, produce uh, more branches and I believe this is just another kind of uh, um, uh, obesum but it, uh, it, it, it got a little bit of a different look but uh, it's a smaller one this one I'm not quite sure. I believe it might be a hybrid of some kind. Uh, the flowers is also pink. It's fairly large. It's got a nice caldex as well. Um, it probably would have made a really nice bonsai tree on its own. Um, and I and uh, the leaves is kind of soft, so unlike the uh, the glossy one of the uh, obesums. Um, so it's kind of like a velvety sort of uh, something that's common with uh, Arabicum, so it could be a hybrid. I'm not sure um, But yeah, they are they're in this uh, Clay terracotta pot, which is uh, uh, I think it looks nice, but it's extremely heavy and there's just really nowhere to hold on to um, So moving this plant is actually quite a pain so maybe next year I might repot them all um, into something else that is probably easier to move. Um, and uh, you know the funny thing is the first couple years when I first started uh, keeping desert rose, I killed so many of them due to uh, root rot. Um, and, and you know, and it took a while for me to sort of understand their language of care. And uh, so far, you know, knock on wood, I have been able to keep them fairly happy. Um, these are uh, potted in mostly. Uh, very large uh, chunks of um, pine barks so it's still very well draining um, but it does retain moisture also pretty well in the summer times I pretty much just water them like uh, tropical so almost every day um, depend on the weather and, and, uh, and um, how hot it is so the next one I want to show you guys is this guy down here I call him big boy um, and it is a, a denim um, arabicum and got a very large caldex it grew even bigger this year and as you can tell uh, the branch stay very compact and almost in proportions with the uh, uh, the uh, caldex itself um, it was blooming um, actually it's still producing flowers right now but uh, I just want to give you guys a close-up look of the branches so all these branches will naturally just start splitting up by themselves you know every year when they come out of dormancy or whatever uh, it will just start producing a lot of different branches naturally so you don't even have to really trim them to stimulate them so I think they're very ideal if you want uh, to use uh, desert rose as a bonsai um, but yeah so this one is my favorite one so far I got another one over here. Um, this one is a little funky looking because uh, it was uh, pretty much just chopped like right here and um, to stimulate sort of like a root flare. Some people think it looks kind of creepy like a bunch of little fingers coming out of it but I think they look kind of cool. Now ideally you should really just pot them in a more shallow pot to allow these roots to sort of thicken up and spread out but uh, this one is fairly happy in this pot right here. Um, you know uh, it's also got some nice little flower and this one is also uh, some form of a uh, um, uh, denium uh, arabicum and so that's why they stay pretty compact as well 
Um, but yeah, the soil in this one is uh, is a mix of uh, of like lava rocks and shell, and actually just straight up like uh, pebbles uh, or uh, gravels and uh, pine barks. All right, let's go look at some of my other ones over here. Here's another one. Um, this one is quite interesting. I really don't like how I have it positioned right now, but I'm not gonna do anything till maybe next year. Um, but this is a dwarf variety of some kind. Uh, the leaves are actually pretty small, um, and it's sort of uh, curly and wavy. And uh, and this, I, I believe this is some sort of hybrid. Um, it's almost like a witch broom, to be honest with you. Uh, it also produces a lot of branches naturally. and. Uh, and uh, for this one, uh, if you can grow them out and you can get a very nice ramifications of all the branches, it create a very cool effect because the leaves are just sort of wavy. Um, so next year I might just uh, go ahead and repot them more upright, um, but right now just leave it as is. And uh, this last one, um, so this one I grew out from like a really baby seedlings. Um, it's not looking too well right now just because I sort of forgot to feed it so uh, the leaves aren't as green uh, but it is healthy and uh, I recently just pruned them um, just to uh, because it's grown pretty uh, pretty tall so uh, I want to make sure to uh, keep it sort of compact so I prune it and hopefully it will back bud a little bit better and keep it more compact but that is uh, that's all of my uh, desert rose and uh, you know, I got some other succulents, plants, and stuff like that. Um, this one is uh, Apache Podium, which uh, I've been growing out. But, um, yeah, so I hope you enjoy that, and uh, there you go.